Jim Son is here with today's FanDuel Hurry Up talking about players who saw their stock increase across Week 9 in NFL DFS. The big one was James Conner stepping up with Chase Edmonds getting hurt. Conner had good usage in key areas. We knew the goal line work would be there, but he also got work in the passing game. He ran 20 routes and got 5 targets, which was key because Eno Benjamin was active during this game. They still gave Connor the passing down work, which to me says they'd probably do the same if Edmonds were to miss more time. So James Connor right now, if Edmonds is not out there, is going to get early down work, goal line work, and passing game work, which makes him a key target at running back. Seven thousand dollars for Week Ten, and James Connor will be a focal point this week if Chase Edmonds can't go. Number two is George Kittle coming back from IR for the 49ers, back to the same role he had before his injury. Kittle didn't have many restrictions; he had eight total targets in this game. Two of those were deep. One of those is in the red zone. He did convert for a touchdown there. 100 plus yards receiving as well. So George Kittle came back to a very good role. He is in an offense that doesn't really want to throw, but has had to because the defense hasn't been that great, which means we can probably expect George Kittle to get around 6 to 10 targets each game, and at tight end, that is all you can really ask for. So George Kittle came back to a good role and is back to being one of the best tight ends in all of fantasy. Finally, Jerry Judy didn't really show up that much on the stat sheet, but he did have good usage for the Broncos in week number nine. Eight total targets of Judy in this game, which was more than anybody else on the team. Nobody else had more than five, and Judy did get the yardage, 69 yards for him in that game, which means that to me, Jerry Judy is probably the top fantasy piece on this Broncos offense right now. 22% target share for Judy in the three games he has played, despite being somewhat limited in two of those games. Judy has good yardage upside, has a good role in this offense, is operating better now that he is back in the fold. So Jerry Judy, to me, the top piece in the Broncos going forward this season. That's all we got for today here on the FanDuel Hurry Up, but don't go anywhere. Coming up later on this week, we'll get you set for both season long and DFS for week number 10.